Unit 2, Lesson 9, we're going to work with the addition and subtraction properties of equality on your index cards from Lesson 6. It says postulate. It's actually a property of equality, the addition postulate, something else. So you can adjust that on there um, or leave it. Again, you don't have to write postulate or property in your proof. You just need to write addition or subtraction, uh, so it's up to you. We're going to prove exterior angle theorem. Um, and so if you need any of that other those other properties or theorems or postulates that we covered already or re angle relationships because you're not sure, please take those index cards out so that you can reference them throughout the lesson. So a bit of an introduction, uh, given the diagram picture to the right, find the measure of each angle below, justify your answer. So a refresher, justify means calculations. Explain means you must write words with vocabulary from geometry, not I added, I subtracted, this equaled, All right? Geometry vocabulary. However, this says justify, so calculations are sufficient. It's important to know that distinction because that is a verb you will see on the Regents exam. So we're going to find the measure of each angle. I notice that angle 1 and angle 78 are a linear pair, meaning they are supplementary. So 180 minus 78 degrees gives me 102 degrees. For the measure of angle 2, I have two options here. I can either use exterior angle theorem, which we're going to be proving in the first example, to apply the subtraction property of equality. Um, or I can add the angles in the triangle, subtract from 180 to get angle 2. Um, either one, I'll give you the both of them. So 102 plus 42 is 144, and 180 minus 144 equals 36. So that's if I use triangle angle sum theorem. Or if I know 42 plus angle 2 has to be 78, so angle 2 has to be 36. So either way, we get the same answer regardless. So let's move on now. A proof obviously does not have any values in it and we've got to talk about this diagram so as I've told you before make some labeling for it. So one, two, three, and four. That's how I'm going to refer to those angles. And Before we begin uh, I want you to pause the video and write what you know so we've written, I've written down what I know. I know that the three angles in the triangle sum to 180, that is triangle angle sum theorem. And I know that angle 4 plus angle 2 also sum to 180 because those linear pairs are supplementary. So let's prove exterior angle theorem, which basically means we are proving angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 4. That is what we're proving. All right, that should be the last statement of our proof. So we need our two columns, one for our statements, our evidence, and one for our reasons why we're able to claim that evidence. We don't have any given information, so we can dive right in with what we see. So number one, angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals 180 degrees. Why do we know this? Angles in a triangle sum to 180. In a triangle sum to 180, or you can write triangle angle sum theorem. Again, you can name the theorem or you can write what the theorem says. Those are your two choices. So then we know that angle 2 and angle 4 are a linear pair. Definition. We know that linear pairs are supplementary, so angle 2 and angle 4 are supplementary. Again, one of those package deals that we discussed on our very first day in Lesson 6. Uh, linear pairs are supplementary. Linear pairs form supplementary angles. So 
So number 4, angle 2 plus angle 4 equals 180. Definition of supplementary angles. All right, we're almost done. Got three more steps. And we've proven, then we'll have proven exterior angle theorem. So five, I have two equations that equal 180, so I can set them equal to each other by replacing that 180 with the other equation. And we know that is substitution. Then we replace a value with a value of equal measure, that's substitution. Okay, so first thing I need to state, this might be the new piece here, again, introducing this subtraction property, is angle 2 is equal to itself. Or congruent to itself, either one. So measure, and that's our reflexive property. And you can just write reflexive if you want. So 7... In order to get what we're trying to prove, which will go on our last line, which is angle 1 plus angle 3 equals angle 4, I need to subtract an angle 2 from both sides. So that's subtraction. If you take two things that are equal and you subtract an equal amount, which is in step 6, from both sides, the results are still equal. That's what this subtraction property of equality says of equality. And that's it, and we're going to apply that in the next couple videos.